once you find the products and a routine that works for your head, you better stick beside it. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Bethany, and as you can tell, today I'm showing you guys my wash and go routine. It's not hard at all, very easy to catch on. I really want y'all to try the products that I mentioned in this video, not sponsored at all. As you guys can see, it just does what it needs to do. I don't use a diffuser, I literally just air dry my hair. This is like two hours after I finished my wash and go routine and my hair just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And I just let it do what it wants to do. And I also do this. Just to give it some more volume. <laughs> so I hope this video is helpful. If it is, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. But without me talking too much, let's get right into the video. Okay, before we get started, I want to show you guys what I use. This brand I absolutely love live by this is the maximum hold styling snot it's like so thick this curling activator is so thick but thick in the sense of the way it feels it doesn't like weigh your hair down which is why I love it oh and it smells so good and then I just go in with some gel the argan oil that's the one I use so we're just gonna get started I washed my hair a couple hours ago but my hair dries kind of fast so I'm gonna spray it down get it a little wet not too much not too much then this this right here will save your life like so freaking thick I told y'all it's really thick so that's why I had to do all that to get it out the bottle but what I'm gonna want to do or what you're gonna want to do is section it that's one thing like take Take your time with your curls. So you wanna go in and massage it with the curling activator. And then this snot, and this really just holds the curl. It's basically like a gel, but I, I just like using gel at the same time. And then you get literally a little bit of gel. So that's what I'm going in and doing. Oh, and then what I also love doing, but the back is like the more healthy part of my head, so I don't really do it to the back, but just like, like crunch it up this will obviously like make it look a little shorter but it makes the curls look tighter get the roots girl get them roots and I say get the roots for like obvious reasons like if the ends have so much product and so much definition but then your roots just look like you didn't even try it's not gonna look the best and if you're the type who like just doesn't care about their hair that I would, I'm not even going to say that was me, because that is, that is me. But, I'd be thinking like, if I didn't just do my hair and care for my hair when I had somewhere to go, or like, just anything like that, my hair would be so healthy. So basically, I do the same thing all around my head. I go in with this, and I like brush it out kind of with my, with my hands. Um, I do oh that's one thing I do not do girl I only use a brush in the shower <laughs> no 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 I don't know what type of hair I have like what hair type type three three four I know it's not four but or one or two I think I'm three um, girl I don't know but my hair like no 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 I can't just be brushing it whenever I want to it don't it don't work like that for me so I Brush it with my fingers, with the curling activator that I showed you guys. And then I go in with the snot. Do the same thing. Kind of like play with it, crinkle it like this. And then I get the gel and I do the same thing. And I showed you guys the oil that I use. This one I believe is what, the Jamaican castor oil. Yeah, Jamaican black castor oil. And I just use that at the very end. Because I feel like if I use it throughout my hair as I'm doing... Um, as I'm sectioning off each part of my head or whatever, it would like weigh my hair down too much. So you can watch so many hair videos and like whatever works for you works for you. And this cream of nature, like if you haven't tried it, you literally, literally, you need to try it.
So I'm just gonna go in and I'll be back once this side is completely done so you guys can just see like the no product versus all the product in my hair. Okay, so this side has no product and this side is lathered in product. If you guys can see the shine and everything. My hair, when it dries, it literally gets this big. <laughs> That's why this side is like that. But it'll get this big, but it'll be like defined at the same time. It's just dry and like it's not cute. But this side is doing what it needs to do. I'm gonna come back when this side is done. Tell me what you see in me. Gotta be something different. You must be made for me. Patience is nothing. In and out, in and out, in and out. Arguing, trifling. Once you find the products and a routine that works for your head, you better stick beside it. Y'all, this is my normal routine, but my hair is really showing off today, like... Because sometimes, you know when you do your hair, even though you've done it in that way so many times, it just doesn't, like, it's not doing what it needs to do. But today, it's really doing what it needs to do. Like, the shine is there. And I didn't even put in the oil yet. But please, if you try this routine, or if you try any of the, the products that I mentioned in the video, that you haven't tried, obviously, let me know and let me know how you like it and if it like is working for you. Girl, even if it doesn't work for you, just put it in your hair. It smells so, so good. So as I'm getting to the top, now I'm going to mention that I don't put a lot of product like in the front of my head because that part of my hair is like thin. I don't know why. I don't know why. So that's why I don't put that much product in the front of my head, but everywhere else, girl. As you guys can see, like there's some white in my hair right now, and that's because I literally used a lot of product. But I don't care, because the white in your hair will dry up if you do apply too much. It's okay. It's okay. Y'all saw how much product I put in my hair, but there's still like volume, and this is my hair wet. So just imagine <laughs> my hair dry. Now I'm just going to go in and scrunch everywhere because although I do not like shrinkage, girl, it looks good sometimes, okay? I just love my fro, like, and that's one thing. If you, like, are trying to embrace your natural hair, do it. Try. Try and just tell yourself you're beautiful and just rock it okay and I just did a middle part you can obviously do it however you want I just feel like it's what suits me best so obviously play around like you could do this whole routine and if you like you don't like the middle part on you you may not like it so just like try whatever but definitely the routine like section off your hair start from the bottom work your way up don't do two big parts make your parts like you know like a decent size so all the strands are a lot of the strands of your hair can like receive the product and your hair can flourish so this is my hair with all the product girl let me do my edges you can't even see my edges but you never know what can happen you never know if the wind just blows my hair back my edges need to be done. My edges need to be laid. Here is my wash and go. All done. And I'm gonna go in with literally a pinch of this on each side. Not even each side, a pinch of it all over. This is all the oil that I'm taking for my whole head because I told you guys there's a lot of shine and definition today and I'm, I'm loving that. So rub it in and just, just moisturize it in just for some extra shine when it dries like, 
My hair just looks so much healthier and it's because I cut so many dead strands off. So literally after a wash and go, this is my hair and it like every hour it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And I don't use a diffuser, I just let it air dry. So I'll be back in like an hour or two maybe to show you guys the difference and to show you guys how well like all of this product that I put in my hair like holds my curls and like the, like the color, like the shine, the everything like. I'm telling you, I'm telling, I'm telling you. Okay, this is like two hours later and this is still not how big my hair gets, okay? I just wanted to show you guys. All I have to say is cream of nature, okay? Just, just go get it, try it out. They have so many like different products in, like in that line. They have like shampoo, conditioner, a treatment, what is it, foam, mousse, the curling cream that I use, the snot, edge control, like girl, girl or boy, go get it. Go use it, like, this is not sponsored, I just live by this, live by this product. But yeah, so this is the, not final look, because my hair literally gets bigger. And just to show you guys like how much volume, and y'all saw how much product I used. Like I literally sectioned off my hair. Very like, very small kind of. And it is still so full. Like do you see the shine? Do you see the like, what? And another reason why it's so good to actually like try with your wash and goes, because it'll last like a couple days. Mine last like four days, just cause my hair is like very thick. And I just, I don't know, once it gets really, really big, it just like, it looks like it's just a lot, okay? <laughs> but yeah, so if you do it, if you do it right and take your time, be patient with the process, like your wash and go can last you a couple days. You just need to wake up, walk out the house. I hope this video was helpful. Let me know if you guys try the cream of nature or try this tutorial, not tutorial, this routine. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.